Hey, Dr. Stone here for Doc Sports, and I'm back with another free pick here for you in just a moment. Free picks continue to do extremely well. Uh, in terms of winners, 21 out of the last 26 races, I've had either an exact winner or a winner that has done, or a horse rather, that has done better than expected that I had on the board. Uh, so it's been been great with the free picks. So let's just see if we can keep it up. Hey, I also today uh, have a tip for you, okay? Uh, and just about horse racing. Now horse racing, it, it is not the easiest sport to, to beat, okay? I'm the first to admit it. Uh, it's, it's, it's challenging, it's difficult, and it has its moments. And like, as I've said before, it's a lot like being a major league baseball hitter. You're going to have hot and cold periods, okay? And so when you're in one of those cold periods, one of the best things that you can do, and I do it all the time, is to look back and understand why you're losing. Okay, because with that, that allows you to dig into the numbers deeper, look for some something that maybe that you've missed or something that you kind of gradually over time just kind of went away from that you were successful with, trying to experiment maybe a little bit too much or, or just, you know, fall prey to just, you know, the outside influences of things that go on in your life. So from that standpoint, you know, always kind of take a step back when things aren't going your way, change your perspective, look deeper into the numbers. Again, more knowledge is a good thing, not a bad thing. So look look at the things, see what you can determine and get the problem solved. And if that doesn't work, okay, at all, and I've done this myself, if it doesn't work at all, just take a few days off, okay? There's gonna be another horse race, okay? Just like in any sport, there's gonna be, well, until recently, I should say, there's I was gonna say, there's always gonna be another game, but right now there hasn't been any games uh, in quite some time. But in horse racing, there is always another race uh, coming down the pike. So take a few days off, clear your head, okay? Get, be, get yourself back into the game and you'll end up making better decisions because of it. Now myself, today, today's Tuesday, which means two for Tuesday. And I have two best bets for just $15 on my Doug Upstone Docs page. So you can check them out there today. And uh, let's see if we can nail a couple down. Uh, and because Tuesday doesn't have a lot of options right now for tracks, we're looking at Lone Star. So it's my first adventure into the into Lone Star uh, racetrack. And it's going to be race seven at 545 p.m. It's going to be one mile on the dirt. And uh, in this one, Lightning Bug is the favorite uh, based on having the second best buyer speed figures uh, and has the top jockey at this track in S. Elliott and, of course, the outstanding trainer S. S. Mewson. However, I'm going to be siding with um, my Aunt Mims, who has the best last buyer speed rating, speed rating and has been steadily improving. So I'm going to take that horse to win because I think it's primed for a big effort. Uh, so I got uh, my Aunt Sims first, Lightning Bug second, and for third, we're going to go with Weak and Madness, who who should be in the mix because is three one in one for win, place, and show in her last five starts with the current jockey trainer combination. So for the eighth race at Lone Star today, we got a 5-7-11 combination, and as I said, I've been hitting a lot of winners, so check that out as well. So, there you have it. Free tip, free picks. Let's have an excellent day all around. I'll be back tomorrow, not sure on the video, for sure. A free pick at my page in, the horse, in horse racing. Belmont opens up this week, uh, so that's more good news. So, this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.